The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Maddie on 6 till 9 weekdays. Todd Gassondi, boys, is featured in the TV show What Happens in Bali. Well, there's been a talking point from every single one of these He's the episodes. only person anyone's talking about out of the show. He's a lunatic. Well, Absolutely. good things come from Newcastle. He's a Newcastle yes. lad, and Todd oh. joins us now on the line. Uh, good morning, Todd. How are you, mate? Mate, I'm good. How good are you? I'm two of the biggest legends I've ever met, mate. This is amazing. I'm, I'm amazing. How are you, boys? Uh, Todd, you, you, you're f- referring to Mark Geyer and my good self, huh? Yeah, mate, that's correct. That's correct. Two legends of mine. Love it. So Matty, sorry. you and your boy, Mark Guy, mate, that origin. Thanks. Can't forget about it. Yeah, the blues. Toddy. <laughs> Todd, Gus, Gus Walland here, mate. I got nothing? Nothing for me, mate? Gus, Gus, mate. So sorry, Gus. Sorry, I didn't know you were there, brother. But, uh, mate, you know, it's a great name. Gus Gould has that name, so I guess it's a good name. There you okay. go. <laughs> Let's run through a few bits from the show and we'll get your thoughts off the back of it. We're going to start the ball rolling. When your mum suggested you become a gigolo. Mum's a bit worried about uh, precious Toddy. Toddy's over here and he's got nothing to do. And mum knows when Toddy's got nothing to do, he either gets into trouble or he'll get a girl pregnant. So uh, she's <laughs> like, you know, you sleep with all these girls. How about you start getting paid for it, Toddy? I'm hoping for, like, maybe, you know, 100 Aussie dollar an hour. Oh, they, that, now, that's sound advice. Yeah. I mean, a parent can only push in the right direction. And you know a bloke's a good bloke when he talks about himself in the third person. Yep. Nice work, Toddy. And, and when he's close to his mum. Now, Toddy, has Toddy followed that through? Have you done a bit of gigolo work? Mate, I, I haven't. I should have because I would be a millionaire by now. But no, I haven't got a. Um, you know that that was just a, that was a joke that um, you know TV's got to turn turn it up a bit. So it was just fun, like you know get get some work type bloody bloody. And, you know it was just a joke between mother money, and son, son, and then and then I I, I I I put it on national TV, which Mum wasn't too impressed with. Oh yes, yeah. now gotcha. what, what about you told your girlfriend? Let's have a listen to this. You told your girlfriend she needed a boob job. It was my decision to get my breasts done because of Todd's comments. Every time I took my bra off, like, they're hanging a little bit low today, Chels. So when I first met Chels, you know, the first thing I saw, I looked at the boobs and they were perfect, perfect. Loved it. One to ten, ten. Then slowly as uh, me and Chels, years went by, by, I saw it drop a little bit. Yeah, they slowly went down to the belly button, so, you know, <laughs> they're yeah, running out of five at the moment. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I haven't watched any of the show, so these are all just coming back, mate. These are, these are just going on. Hey, uh, Toddy, yeah. another one on the show. Uh, apparently you're already looking uh, for a new girlfriend after the one we were just uh, talking about. Have a listen to this bit. I just got a little bit aroused. I have another female, quite attractive female, um, touching my girlfriend's breast. Come in here, and I've seen at least seven Indonesian women. I don't know where they've been hiding the last seven months when I've been the Prince of Poppies. Tell you what, my next stomping ground, if I ever break up my girlfriend, will be here. Darling. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey Toddy, oh, yeah. Toddy, can I ask you an honest yeah, question? Yeah. Were you off chops when they when they filmed you? Mate, hundred percent. You know, they'd wake <laughs> up and uh, they'd, they'd be like, "I'll be hung over." You know, when you're hung over and you're like, "Not, not drinking ever again." Yep. They'd yep. be like, "Yep, Toddy, you've got to come out. You've got to go out." Do this, do this again. I was like, no, I'm, I'm about to die. I need to go to the hospital. I can't even, can't even walk. My liver's killing me. So it is, and I'm buzzing again. And mate, I can't remember any of that. So you know, that was just like bringing back some old man. So, 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 when you hear yourself now, Todd, do you actually cringe and go, "Oh my God, I can't. I'm not I that. Do. I'm not I, that bloke." <laughs> I do, I do, I do, mate. Because you know, it was two months of my life. It was hectic. You know, at the time when we first started filming, I just broke up with my girlfriend for eight years, and then, oh. you know, it was just like, "Well, effort. I'm just going to do whatever I want." I went around Indonesia surfing the biggest waves. I just didn't care about anything. You know what I mean? I threw footy in. I threw everything in. And then, you know, it was just like this TV company comes up to me and says, here's, here's some uh, free drinks, come on TV. And I was like, yeah. sweet, don't have to get uh, in for my money, you know. Yeah. So it's a cringe, it's a cringe mate, but, um, you know, you've just got to put up with it, put your head up and just uh, march on. Well, Toddy, mate, we wish you all the very best for the future, mate. And uh, Come in, come and spend some time with us when you get a second. Yeah, if you ever eat... 100%, Sydney. 100%. I'll get some autographs because these guys are legends, mate. And don't worry, Gus, I'll get one off you, brother. We'll just put Guild at the end of it. <laughs> the Grill Team. Gus. MG. And Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.